Well, howdy, diddly, dandy there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen X. So, and today, chums, I want to try and boost the stats of my creatures, of my animals, of my pets. Heck yes, it's going to be freaking mind blowing. So, this is aided by somebody over on Reddit. So, yeah, let me put up their details on the screen there. There we go. It's J R N underscore 89. Jaron. Nice one. Thanking you, sir. You're freaking awesome. Air grab for you. Heck yes. Right out. So what they've put up on Reddit is some tables and dossiers that show you the stats that you can upgrade your creature yards with. So more Chato here. I want him to be more aggressive and more devoted. So I need to use this table. There's the table on the screen right now. And you can pause this to see what you wish. But also in the video description, I'm going to put a link to the JPEG in large. Heck yes, I will. So yeah, check that out for getting your stats how you want them. So here we go, I'm going to pick up Molchato's egg. Where are you, Molchato? Um, oh, it's always the freaking last one. Let's chuck that into the egg machine, the egg sequencer. And yeah, it's the neural calibration. You can see there that devotion is going to be going up. So we're going to do the devotion first, then we're going to do the aggression second. Heck yes, brilliant. This egg is now getting more devoted to me. Heck yeah. So here we go. Let's uh, get the Machato egg again. It's now moved space. There we go. I, I wish I would stay in the freaking same slot where you put them. There we go. There we are. You can also use gold in the growth hormones to make them larger as a bit of a heads up. But yeah, we go. I'm using gold in this case to make it more devoted. Yeah, it goes up by 20% each time. If it says it decreases, it would go down by 20% each time. Yeah, that's if you've got 100% dose. If you don't use 100% dose, then yeah, you're going to have to do your own maths, because I'm really not very good at percenta jars. Right, so now I'm using the winged Stevie's egg, and I'm putting in Star Bramble, because that's going to make him less helpful. And I'm also going to be using Idiom, that's going to make him less gentle. And the end result is, I'm hoping to make him highly aggressive, <laughs> yeah, and playful at the same time. He's going to be a dangerous little critter. So here we go. Let's try that. So let's keep putting stuff in. So I've managed to do the Star Bramble over and over. And now I'm moving on to putting in the Idiom. Now the Idiom should make him more aggressive. At first it's just going to say he's less gentle. But in the end that's going to swap around and start changing to aggressive. Yeah, it's going to be freaking mental. So I'm just going to carry on doing this over and over, Chan. So yeah, it, it, about, it's going to be about, well... Because it's 20% each time, I've got to at least do it five times to get rid of all of his gentleness. And then I'm going to be moving on to his aggressiveness. But anyway, this guy here, uh, those two I'm going to get rid of. This guy here, Cornell, I want to make him more independent. At the moment, he's very aloof. And I kind of want to keep him slightly gentle. I'm not too fussed about the playfulness, but I want to get the gentleness and also his independence right up. So here we go, let's do Cornell. So here we go, let's get Cornell. Where are you, Connell? Which There you go. Let's put that in there. Righto. So here we are. And looking at the table, I, if I try and put it in... Oh, devotion increasing. That's not right. Righto. Well, let me, let me try again. One second. Oh, I read the table freaking wrong. Okay, so yeah. Make sure you get it right. <laughs> there you go. That should take the devotion down, but it should bring his independence up. So there we go. I'm just going to keep putting in cadmium in there to get that to sw swap the other way and it does move to being a positive so there we go awesome so let's just carry on with Cornell there we are and you know what I'm gonna speed this up I'll play some music Righto, so I think that's going to help Cornell become a better Triceratops. Heck yes it is. Let's just stick in one more dose. You can see there, it says Inherited. When it goes to Inherited, you know that you've maxed that stat. So yeah, don't go any further. Once you see Inherited, stop with your genetic modification. Heck yes. Right, so now I've finished messing about with all four of the eggs of the creatures that I want to keep. I'm going to go and jump into my ship and out of my ship and create myself a Saver Mondo. Auto save. Heck yes, let's get on over. Come on, little legs, you can run a little faster than that, surely. Right out, let's get into the anvil. Jump out of the anvil. Chicka boom, chicka pow, and save is done. Lovely. Right out, so now let's have a quick look see at my creature yards. So I want to get rid of these two over here. 
Uh, I've already got an egg from this one, which I'm going to be doing a giveaway, but I've mutated the egg. Shh, tell no one. And that guy never laid an egg, but we've got a robot egg, I think, that someone's given us. It's an industrious egg. I have no idea what's in it. So that's going to be a surprise egg. There's going to be two surprise eggs each week, and then hopefully these four creatures, and they're going to be super advanced. I'm just going to create another save now that I've ditched those other two creatures, and now we might be able to hatch those eggs. So here we are. It's ready for hatching, and we're going to hatch the Diplo first. So the original Diplo was like only 0.8 meters quite small this guy's looking a lot bigger obviously it's not the full size to be honest i don't want to go to town on the size of my diplo i'm quite happy with it being a fairly sensible size so i might go to about five meters but we'll see we'll see what it looks like when it's an adult but for now this one's 2.4 meters which is pretty damn freaking swish i mean the original one towered over me there we go 0.9 meters but still bigger than me which is weird because i'd imagine i'm six foot which is you know a meter and a half isn't it roughly or something like that so i have no idea what's going on with the sizes the sizes seem very disproportionate so that's why i want to see how big he gets but yeah the stats on my new diplo are freaking excellent yeah so he's sweet tempered i don't know whether you saw that but that's quite cool that's that's awesome in fact that's kind of what i was hoping for with the diplo so we have got a hundred percent stat there but now i want to see how my little dude turned out I wanted him to be super aggressive <laughs> and um, super playful. So let's see whether I've managed to do either of those two stats. Okay, he seems quite happy now, but let's have a look at his actual stats. Oh, look at him go. He's doing a little dance. He's so awesome. Righto, so now let's check him out. So here's the new one. He's 100% aggressive and 100%... Oh, okay, so he lost his playfulness, but that's cool. He's now a war machine. This guy, yeah, sweet-tempered. So that worked out okay. I can now get rid of his parent. Goodbye. Goodbye. Righto. Awesome. I'm going to rename all these after I've hatched them all and give them better names so I can build a proper relationship with them. Now that I've got them how I want, I'm hoping he grows a little bit bigger than that. And I'm hoping I might be able to ride him. But if I can't... I may have to do something about that, make him slightly bigger. Then again, you don't need to ride the creatures, do you? In fact, it's a bit of a hindrance, because you can't scan or attack anything once you're on their backs. Right out, well, let's, um... But then again, I could do creature races. <laughs> I'd have to raise my little wing and Stevie. Okay, brilliant. Awesome. Even though they fly, though, if you go over a cave mouth, big hole in the ground, you still fall in it. It's, it's not fun. Okay, so this guy, I managed to get him 100% independent. Awesome. He's also gentle, and he's, his playfulness is still quite cheeky. But yeah, we can now get rid of the periant. Goodbye. Into the ether you go. Right, so next up, what have we got? Let's see. I think it's just the last creature. My Molchatos, baby. Heck yes. This is one I really want to see whether I made, made, made him super duper aggressive. He was already aggressive, but I want him 100% aggressive. Let's see if we've been successful there. And hopefully the other stat will be 100% so far. I mean, my winged Stevie is by far the best stat-wise so far. So hopefully, let's have a look at the baby more chat. Yes! 100% devo devoted and 100% aggressive. He's a freaking killer. Heck yes. And it also, helpfulness is nearly... It's 86% and I wasn't even aiming to do the helpfulness. That is so cool. Right, well, and I'm liking the coloration. The coloration looks pretty damn snazz as well. So we can get rid of the parent. Goodbye, Molchato. It was lovely having you while we had you. And now I'm going to rename all of these creatures. Let's just make sure he's... A, yeah, look at that. Look at the colours on him. He looks... Freaking ace, doesn't he? I, I want to see him down on the planet's surface. And now that I've got their stats up, I'm going to retry to see if they're any good at doing any of the missiones. Awesome. Anyway, I'm going to rename these. I'll play some music. I do like that little ditty. I do like that music. Yuck! Right, okay, so I'm renaming my creatures. I'm going to call him Cadet. I've got a little winged Stevie. I've got Reximan Rex Rex and Trico. Yeah, I'm liking these names. I can now build a little bit of a bond with these chappies. And yes, these four I'm not going to be releasing or getting rid of. I, I might do with the winged Stevie, just because I might make him a bit bigger. But there we go, celebratory dance. Thanking you, JRN underscore 89. Freaking mind-blowing stuff with all your tables and stuff. 
massive great big thank you and a double thumbs up heck yes chum nice one and yeah you guys out there i hope that you use the table as well and i hope you find it useful and until next time goodbye goodbye what the fudge you freaking blanking video bomb me goodbye goodbye and goodbye again bloody rex <laughs> I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck yes, there's also merch on this screen now. Awesome!